I hope everyone I'm back again. So uh, I wanted to do a quick review of the uh, Lenovo uh, Tablet S6000, which is a 10 inch tablet released back in 2013 by Lenovo. As you can see, it's uh, got uh, quite a nice thin profile to it. Uh, it feels uh, quite good in the hand. Uh, quite solid and uh, grippy thanks to the matte back uh, which looks very stylish and professional uh, it's uh, obviously not going to attract fingerprints as well because of this matte back uh, it does have a uh, dedicated speaker on each side to help with output as well as a 5 megapixel camera but with no flash unfortunately uh, on the side of the device, you will find a uh, micro HDMI as well as a micro uh, USB and a micro S SD flat, uh, which isn't too annoying to get open, so uh, it does protect it a little bit. Uh, but uh, in general, it, uh, it certainly feels quite solid in the hand. Uh, it uh, feels like it's built to last for saying that uh, you can get one of these for about 150 quid now from most places. It certainly feels more solid than the cheap Chinese trash you'd get off Amazon or something. Uh, I think the only real criticism I'd have of the device is uh, the uh, front bezels which uh, I think are very prone to attracting fingerprints. If they'd done something like the matte back on the front, it would uh, prevent that. I don't know if I can show you if I sh uh, take my light to it. But as you can see, it's got uh, quite a lot of smudges on it. So you have to continually, continually wipe it down. Uh, I don't know if you can get a screen protector, which has got uh, oleophobic properties that might help with that. Uh, but uh, I think also the the bezels are a bit big for saying uh, uh, looking at the uh, the screen to bezel ratio uh, I think Lenovo could have done a bit better in regards to making the be bezels a bit thinner to maximize the screen real estate uh, but uh, overall I'm quite uh, happy with the uh, build quality of the device, you know, it's uh, it's lasted me about uh, six months or so since I've had it, and we've not had any issues with it so far, so good. Uh, in regards to the screen technology, it's got uh, IPS display with 150 PPI. Uh, I think it's a 720p display, uh, so it's not full HD by any means, but uh, to someone who is not too fussy, it more than ad adequately does the job. Uh, as you can see, colours appear very vibrant and uh, clear. Uh, there's very little degradation of the colours as you move it to the sides. Uh, and uh, you can certainly make out everything under daylight as well. Uh, I think uh, the good viewing angles are due to the IPS technology, which uh, a few of those uh, Chinese tablets don't actually possess. I don't think the uh, some of the Ace Erconia uh, ones either. Uh, so uh, I'm quite uh, I'm quite impressed with the screen. I was expecting it to be very low quality for this type of price, uh, but uh, you, you're certainly getting your money's worth. Uh, because at the end of the day, when you're buying a tablet, you want the screen to be decent because that's the main reason why you buy a tablet for the big screen. I think that the only real issue is that when you're like browsing a web page uh, in overview, because of the low resolution, it can look a bit choppy uh, compared to some other tablets until you zoom in. Uh, probably can't see this on the camera, but I have actually maximized the text size to help deal with this a bit. Uh, 
but when I first got it, the text was very small and it did appear very choppy. Uh, but uh, obviously, as I said, you can just increase the text size a bit and that will help with that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the screen. I think that uh, it's very well calibrated and uh, it gives uh, excellent uh, viewing. So uh, in regards to the uh, specifications, uh, nothing hot here. Uh, you are running the MediaTek, I think it's at 8125, quad core 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, so uh, Definitely not top of the line specs, very budget uh, in order to keep the price down. It's got one gig of RAM as well. Uh, I think these specs do push push the tablet along quite nicely. As, the, as I've just shown you on the web paging uh, viewing, it's not, uh, not going to let you down in regards to the speed. It does the job. Uh, Pages load quite uh, fast as well. Uh, and there's uh, no like issues in regards to lagginess or choppiness. It uh, only can slow down now and again when you're really hammering it and doing things very quickly. Uh, I found that. Uh, on most usage, uh, I don't find it to be too slow. Uh, but uh, if you, for example, do something like uh, if I look at uh, maps, sometimes it can be a bit laggy when uh, looking at the maps, but as you can see, it's not really a big issue. You know, it's still uh, very usable. And uh, I think uh, Lenovo have changed from using a MediaTek processor for its uh, new version of the Yoga 10 tablet. And we'll be using the Snapdragon 400, which should give a bit better performance. Uh, but uh, I think uh, if you're looking for something that uh, will give you quite a nice experience, then you shouldn't be afraid of this tablet because of the processor. It is the same processor as well as in the Yoga 8, which uh, does a very good job at pushing things around. So uh, I've got no quibbles in regards to the performance on the device, but don't expect uh, Snapdragon 800 like performance. Uh, in regards to the uh, battery life, as you can see, it's currently at 51%. I've been using it since uh, yesterday, uh, quite moderately. Uh, so uh, typical use for me will be just looking at some web pages or looking at some YouTube videos. Uh, I'm not a heavy user on the tablet, but it certainly can get me for a day with no sweat. I wouldn't say the battery life is as good as uh, something like uh, the Yoga 8, which is like top top in its class in regards to battery life, but uh, you're not going to have any battery issues in regards to this. Uh, quite happy with the battery performance, and it also uh, the charging is, I'd say, about moderate. It charges a lot faster than the Yoga 8, but that's probably because it's got a smaller battery capacity. Uh, it does have a camera on the device, uh, but it's probably not worth talking about too much because I think it's just more of a novelty than something that you'd actually use to take pictures with. It does support some different modes such as HDR, uh, panorama, multi-angle shot, uh, which is a nice addition by Lenovo, but as I said, the quality is very uh, poor and uh, probably not best used unless you've got nothing else available. It doesn't support flash either, uh, so uh, you can't really use it in, in, in low light conditions. But it's perfectly decent just to capture something if you've got uh, nothing available. 
So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I think uh, in terms of the hardware, uh, it's uh, you're getting quite a nice tablet for the money because uh, I think the nearest competitor is something like the uh, Galaxy Tab 3, which feels much more plasticky and cheap compared to this tablet. Uh, the screen's probably a little bit better on the Galaxy Tab 3, but personally I like the uh, build quality of the Lenovo. Uh, I think that it's just much more professional and looks uh, you know, quite nice when you're out and about with it. Uh, in regards to uh, the storage, as I said, you do have uh, 16 gigs internal storage, so plenty of space to store things, as well as uh, micro SD for 32 gigabytes expan expansion. Software-wise, it's running 4.2.2, so uh, not the latest Android by any means, but Lenovo uh, don't have the best of... Uh, uh, reputation when it comes to keeping their Android devices up to date so I wouldn't really expect this to be updated any further but it should be good for the next couple of years on this particular version. Uh, it does have a, a Lenovo interface that I quickly swapped out for Nova Launcher I find it to be a bit easier to navigate through. I'm not really happy with the uh, bloatware that was loaded onto the device by Lenovo, such as uh, things like film on uh, TV Live, uh, HRS hotels and things like that that I'd never used in a million years. But uh, yeah, I think uh, the software is decent. You know, it uh, gets the job done. Uh, no complaints in regards to that. Uh, the sound quality is decent as well. As I said, it does have those two speakers on the back. So uh, this the sound quality uh, sounds quite uh, bassy and uh, full, which is something that I do like with a tablet. Uh, if I just give you an example. So yeah, as you can hear, it uh, you know sounds quite decent. Obviously not as loud as uh, like the HCC one or anything, but it does a decent job uh, through the headphones as well. You know you're going to get uh, decent sound quality. It does sound louder than the Nexus Seven. Uh, that was a complaint that I had with that device that I had for a bit. It didn't sound very loud through the uh, headphones, but this certainly does go up quite high until you get that annoying war warning about it damaging your hearing. Uh, but you can bypass that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, if, uh, I have a quick uh, look at uh, the uh, performance in regards to a game. Uh, try this one. I now and again use the uh, tablet for a few games and I've, I haven't had any issues with lag or anything. But I don't play the top end games, so uh, you know the requirements are going to be quite modest.
as you can see it's very smooth and uh, the graphics processor does a good job So yeah, you know, uh, no issues with the games that I've installed on it. Uh, I have uh, got Sonic as well on there and uh, some other ones. Uh, but uh, I think all in all, if you're just looking for, you know, a really good budget 10-inch tablet, you can't go wrong with the Lenovo S6000. I think that it's still uh, an excellent buy in 2014. Uh, if you're just looking for something to browse the web or uh, play a few games on it, then uh, you could do a lot worse. But yeah, um, so uh, I think that about covers it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. Cheers.